this is Tara for HealingCrystals.com and this is the astrology report for the week of February 24th through March 1st. We're back on track now. So we've got the right week matching up with the actual week that is coming ahead. So tomorrow is Wednesday and there's something that's all around us that a lot of times we just don't happen to notice. And tomorrow Venus and Neptune are really going to help you notice it and show you how to use it. And that thing is magic. It's going to be one of those days where you want to have your imagination wide open. You want to be in touch with your intuition. You want to feel it through your physical senses because magic is all around us. And this is a wonderful day to recognize it and to use it. So make a little time in your day to do a little bit of magic and, and see what kind of difference that makes for you going forward. Um, on Thursday, you're going to be back to Earth, um, but that's okay. You're going you're gonna to feel pretty good about it. Mercury and Saturn are going to have you feeling productive and accomplished as you organize and you prepare. Maybe on Wednesday you were using that magic to like start thinking of some, you know, some, some new ventures in your life and now this is a good chance to start preparing for those things. Um, Pluto's going to join in and that's going to make you want to learn more about something or some things or someone and that interest, um, it's going to help you that, you know, by following the, that interest that you have, it's going to help you to create more abundance and just more good things in your life. So it's definitely a good day to, to do a little work. Um, on Friday, Mercury and Uranus are working together and, and they're going to help you spark some new ideas. It's a good time to start something new, but it's an even better time to recycle something old. A lot of times we just toss stuff away. Something's not working. We're like, boom, it's done. I'm out of here. But before you toss it away, take a good look at it and see what's there for you and see if maybe there's something that 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 you can you can rework and find good use for. In other words, this is a good time to see what you have that you're that's good for you that you're not using. Um, and, and, you know, just don't throw that kind of stuff away absently thinking that, you know, you don't really need it. Um, you know, this, this is a good time to, to, to put some work in um, and make changes to, to yourself or to things around you or, or other elements in your life. And that's going to help you make those things work for you rather than against you. On Saturday, Mercury and Jupiter are going to drive you to, to, to take radical, radical actions, okay? But you need to go slow and really think before you commit. Um, you know whenever Jupiter's in the picture, Jupiter is just going to drive you to excess. You, you, you're going to need to like really ground yourself and, and make yourself stop and think before you act. Especially when it comes to making any kind of promises to yourself or to anybody else. You don't want to promise something that you, that you can't deliver and have to go back on it. And like I say, it's, it's, you know, not just to other people, but a lot of times this is the kind of energy where you make a promise to yourself and say, you know what, I'm going to do this. And, and then you find out that maybe you just went a little too far and that leads to disappointment. Start off slow, you know, say, you know what, I'm going to take the first step towards this. And then when you accomplish that, that can help you um, build from there. Um, before you, you start off and, and try to go too far all at once, and that just leads to disappointment and kind of cuts you right off. Um, Sunday. Sunday, there's going to be moments of enlightenment and insight, but also it's kind of an uncomfortable day. You could feel a lot of discomfort and irrational reactions. The energy is very unpredictable and moody and that can work for you, but, but you need to control it. Sometimes when, when you have like, like thoughts and feelings that, that aren't normal, that don't, don't feel like your usual thing, um, like I said, it can feel uncomfortable and you know, how you react to it can can make a big difference and you don't want to have a have a bad reaction that that's going to have bad repercussions 
this is the kind of transit where you can really see that you have the power to do good or not for yourself and for others. And you're going to be very aware of that. And that's a lot of responsibility. So you want to be cautious how you use it. Um, Monday is much more grounding. Um, uh, Venus and Saturn are going to be stabilizing everything. And, you know, Venus is, is the planet that, that's all about the, the things that matter to us, the things that, that, you know, those physical things that make us happy, um, beautiful things, financial things, our work, our studies, um, our relationships. Um, and, and Saturn is, is working with Venus to kind of stabilize things, stabilize those things. So you're going to see the truth. But it's not going to feel like a harsh blow. It's going to feel more empowering and more comfortable um, than anything else when it comes to those important things in your life. Um, finally, Tuesday, first day of March, February will finally be over. Um, Pluto and Venus want you to trust yourself, trust your instincts. This is a good time. You've got a new month. You're starting a whole new cycle. Invest time in yourself and the things that you love. And that's going to attract more of those things to you. Remember, wherever you put your energy, that's what's going to come back to you. So if you put your energy towards negative stuff, that's what's going to come back to you. But if you're putting your energy towards positive, um, you know, that's what's going to come back to you. And an interesting element about Tuesday, there's a very strong sense of like destiny floating around on Tuesday, you know, so so it could be like out of the blue, all of a sudden you feel like something was just meant to be or, or something happens and you're like, oh, wow, you know, I, I could see how that was meant to happen. Um, and so if you feel like something was destiny, you're going to be right. So trust that instinct and follow that through. So here's the crystals that I'm going to be carrying with me this week. Um, first of all, appetite. Um, because appetite is wonderful for exerting your will, while it also helps you to be open to new ideas and new experiences. A lot of, uh, there's, there's a lot of energy floating around this week. You want to be open to its presence and be open to what it has to offer you. But you also want to be able to control it and use your willpower to direct it where you want it to go. And appetite can help you with that. Sunstone. Sunstone is going to help you find the light and recognize all the good energy that's around you and attract more of it. Sunstone is really good going back to what I just said before about where you direct your energy and about, you know, how you attract good things towards you. Sunstone, sunstone can really help you keep a, a light and positive energy no matter what's going on around you. Um, and that's going to help you bring more of it towards you. And then finally, carnelian, because you do need some grounding. And um, I think carnelian, carnelian will be very helpful for grounding this this week. And it's also, also going to help you to understand what it is that you need. Um, because we're, we're still in that period where, where we're exploring, you know, we're, we're at the end of the zodiac. Once Aries starts, that starts off a whole new um, a, 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 a whole new thing for you and you're at the end of the zodiac where you're kind of like feeling your you're, you're feeling things and you're feeling what what's important to me what isn't important to me um you know what do I want to keep what do I need to let go and carnelian can really help you understand that and work with the energy that's around you right now and get guidance from that energy and from the atmosphere in general um don't forget to check out the weekly and daily horoscopes on HealingCrystals.com and on our Facebook page, Crystal Talk. Have a happy, magical week.